Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Side Pursue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is, are you on the same financial page in your relationship? Sex and money are the two biggest issues that cause problems in a relationship. And this is something that you need to address really early on when you first deciding you're going to be exclusive with each other. Because if you don't have the foundation of your relationship intact, which is things like sex, communication, money, those, those sort of things, you're going to always have issues that pop up all the time because you're not talking about it. You're not communicating about what's important. To be on the same page financially with each other, you have to talk about it. You have to communicate what's important to you. A lot of people think, oh, we've got all the time in the world, we're young, you're meeting in your 20s, you've got all this time to figure this out. Let me tell you from my own personal experience, it goes by really fast. This isn't something to leave, you know, for a couple of years down the road. You need to know if they have the same values and views as to where you want to put your money moving forward. Because if you want to buy a house and they just want to travel and that's all they care about, you're going to have a problem. It happened to me. I didn't even own my first place until I was 48. So don't let that happen to you. Start putting some cash away and be on the same page with where it's going. And don't be the person that says, oh, I'll just let my, my partner handle it. You have to know what's going on. If you're looking at your finances and you, you see what you have in the bank, but you don't know where it's going in your relationship, that's a mistake because there's a lot of people that get blindsided as well later on with where their money has gone. Always sign documents, go to any banking situation that you might be entertaining to, whether it's something to do with buying a home, uh, buying a car. Don't make any big purchases without the other person. Don't just decide that this is what you want and you're going to buy it. If you're in an exclusive partnership, you've now kind of pooled your money together. Of course, you're going to have your own spending money. I'm not saying that you're stuck and every single thing has to be talked about. You're going to have your money for your own stuff that you want to do. And so are they. But when it comes to the bigger things in your partnership, you have to be on board with each other. There has to be a discussion. The reason it's called a partnership is because you're a team. And you want to build together for your future as a team. And so this is why it's so important to sit down and have the discussions about what's important to you. Maybe your partner's got some really great ideas they can bring to the table that you never even thought about, where you can put some money as a great investment or something that you both decide, okay, maybe, maybe we don't really need that new car. Maybe we need to do a reno in the kitchen, so our resale of our home is going to be way better down the road. These are things you have to talk about as a couple and come to an agreement on. Because if you're constantly battling or not talking about it and just going and doing things, this will cause so many arguments. Another thing I think is really important and it's a great idea as a couple is to have monthly withdrawals that just come out all the time you know you have to budget for it, it's there, it's for whatever you're, you're saving for, but it's going into a pool together as a couple. You both sign on the dotted line for what's going to happen with it at the bank and all the things that go with, with anything financial. It's a big purchase. You want to both be in tune to what is happening. It's not one person's job. You both have to be responsible with where the money goes in your relationship. Discipline is the key to getting ahead financially. And it doesn't have to be a big chunk of cash that you're budgeting for that's leaving you feeling like you've got no life. You don't have to put a lot of money into to getting things going if you do your homework and you know where to put your money. And the, the, the great thing is about doing it earlier in your life is it the interest in all the th stuff that comes from doing it at an early stage is so beneficial to you. And you'll be so happy that you did it at that time frame. Because there's nothing worse as you get older and all of a sudden you have, you're, you're pregnant, you're having kids and you're, oh my God, we don't have any money for this. You always have to think ahead and budget accordingly. 
you want to always have a bit of a savings together. If you're with somebody who doesn't care about that, and this is something that you're finding out in the early stages of a relationship, I think you're going to find out that maybe you're not compatible because this is important to you and you can't be the only one that's making this this work the budgeting system and everything else going on in your relationship there has to be two people that want the same thing another thing you might not make as much money as your partner and you either feel inadequate because you're not putting enough in or you feel that you shouldn't have to put anything in i suggest you always always put money in whatever you can afford whatever percentage of your paycheck that you can contribute to your partnership because your partner will respect you you'll respect yourself because you'll look at, at whatever you're purchasing at the end of the day that you helped and you were responsible enough to understand that you wanted to put money into this as a couple whether it's a house, whether it's renting something in a nicer area, whether maybe you want to go on a really, really exclusive holiday in five years time. These are all things you can budget for, but you have to be talking to each other and communicating about what it is. And you also have to say to each other, is this both what we want? Because you have to be on the same page when you're putting big chunks of cash into anything. And one of the last things I really want to draw attention to is be very proactive as to where your money's going. Make sure you've got all the banking information, credit card information. You're a part of all of it because that's what a partnership is. You both need to be on board with where the cash flow is going. Don't sit back and just expect everything to be working because your partner's doing it all. You need to know where your money's going. And never dispute your, your partner's concerns when it comes to money because they might have something really valuable to say. They might have some really great ideas. If you have any concerns, bring them up. Your partner can maybe set you at ease with maybe there's something that you're not seeing or understanding. The bottom line here is just be on board together communicate and understand the importance of working together as a team. Thank you so much for listening to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so and leave any comments. If you have any suggestions for financial situations, please leave it below and help others out here. Thanks so much everyone. Take care.